Now to the terrifying new numbers out tonight. Drowning deaths in Hillsborough County have nearly tripled in just one year. Last year, our largest county saw 11 drowning deaths compared to surrounding counties in the single digits. And tonight, ABC Action News reporter Nicole Grigg with one family's difficult story of survival and a free event to teach kids how to swim. She's up there. Where's she going? Four years ago, Dante nearly drowned Thank during a barbecue God. party at his house in Brandon. You don't think it's going to happen to you, but it will. It can, and it can happen to anybody. <laughs> he can't swallow, walk, or talk, but he's come a long way this past year. He can now sit up, and he's much healthier. He's actually been out of the hospital for um, going into April. It'll be a whole year. Dante's mom shares their heartbreaking story to save others. I think the most important thing is to have what they call water watchers. So if you do have pool parties and parks and you're at the beach, to always have somebody watching the kids. Hillsborough County had the most drowning deaths in all of Florida last year. In 2018, there were 11. In 2017, there were three, according to DCF. In an effort to prevent drownings, the local YMCA is hosting free swim lessons during spring break in Hillsborough and Pasco counties for kids three and up. A lot of them can't afford to do swim lessons. When you go to the Y's website, you need to make an account. You'll choose a location and time frame. If it only has a wish list, you still have a good chance to get in. And if you miss out, there will be more sessions in May and during the summer. In Brandon, Nicole Grigg, ABC Action News. And now really is the best time to get your kids ready for pool and swimming season. We've got all the sign-up information for those lessons at the Y, YMCA, on abcactionnews.com.